Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a passion of mine which is all things hair care for both men and women but with a particular interest around hair thinning. So I'm always on the lookout for products which can help boost my hair, which can look after my scalp environment and hopefully, potentially, keep the hair I have longer on my scalp and help grow thicker and fuller hair and help boost that hair growth cycle. So back, I think about early May of this year, I purchased the Amla hair oil. And I believe it's pronounced, is it Debor Amla hair oil here? So I only bought this for a couple of pounds on Amazon here in the UK. Um, and this stuff I am really quite impressed with. Now, how did I come across it? So as I always do, I'm always looking for things for the channel which I can explore and bring to the channel uh, in terms of hair growth and helping. I get a lot of questions from people in terms of what do I use to keep my hair thick. I've got fine hair. I've had experiences of hair loss and I often deal with hair loss through stress um, and let's be honest I'm 31 now so most men at some point in their life have to deal with an element of pattern related thinning or some form of hair loss so I am on that kind of ongoing kind of journey look uh, for uh, products which can help me hold on to my hair in a good position and a good thickness and can keep boosting my hair growth cycle. So I was doing some research and I came across sort of different holistic approaches in terms of um, different areas around the world of looking for uh, products, but products which are natural and look after uh, the hair growth in terms of thickness, density and the quality of the hair as well. So often my hair, because I use heat occasionally, um, and I'm always wearing my hair in a sort of a top knot style here, so it's back all the time, and this is uh, a spray, so there is always kind of something in my hair. I'm quite careful with my hairline, don't put any pressure or anything in here, it's not tense, it's it's not tight, sorry, um, it's not any tension was the word I was looking for. And sometimes what I, I do, if I'm using sort of like a leave-in serum or anything like that at all, I comb it through, I tie it back, I put a little bit of spray over it and then that's me done for the whole day. But in terms of the Amla hair oil, I started using this and I was very, for, for a start, I was really, really taken back by the smell. The smell itself is, I've been thinking about this a long time of how to kind of describe this, but it's a mixture of almost like a very fresh soap smell to like a tree bark smell. It's certainly outdoors. It's very fresh. Um, it, I'll be honest, it can be overpowering, okay, um, but you don't use it every day. So for me, I use this, I don't use it in a set routine, so every couple of weeks, okay, I put this through the roots of my hair and then it's, I never, I never do this in a day because it is quite, I don't want to say it's a real greasy product, but it is an oil, okay, it is a quite a heavy product, but it's got so much great potential. So we're gonna look into uh, what the packaging says about the product in just a moment. I got it in the box here, but it is in a bottle. Um, I tried to wipe the bottle off as much as I can, but when I'm using it, there seems to be some residue on the bottle, so it's a little bit greasy. I will be honest, if you're looking for a dry product with no kind of residue, um, this isn't oil but it has a whole host of potential benefits in here. And I really like it. So every couple of weeks, I use the Amulet hair oil um, and I brush my hair through, first of all. Sometimes I keep it damp, sometimes I use it on dry hair, okay? And I have uh, fine length hair to about my shoulders, okay, here. And I use occasional heat on it. It's on the fine side, so it really can get quite fragile and it can get quite dry and certainly quite frizzy. So I put a good amount of the Amla hair oil through, predominantly working through the roots, and then I take a few minutes just massaging, particularly in the areas which concern me and kind of quite relatively concerning, concerning for men. Um, kind of an average, most men I would imagine are concerned with their hairline, their temples and the crown, which is that stereotypical pattern of male pattern related thinning. But of course, this is for women as well. In fact, it's predominantly for women in that real amazing glossy thickness of hair. The advert for this, um, which I found on YouTube, is really quite incredible. Um, do I think it's a little bit sort of enhanced? Potentially, but I can't guarantee that. But it's really, really great. It really has got some great benefits on here. What I've noticed about it is the quality of my hair has really, really changed when I use this. I do have to shampoo my hair twice because it is quite heavy and I say my hair is on the fine side. It's fine, thin in places, but I've got quite a lot of it. Um, but it is quite heavy for my hair, my hair texture. So my scalp, I take a couple of minutes just massaging into my scalp, getting that blood flow pumping, getting the roots awakened, giving that energy to my scalp. And with the Amla hair oil, I let that sit for about 40, 50, sometimes up to 
an hour. Okay, I tie it back and then I wash it out. I don't leave it in overnight. For me, it's far too, um, I hate to use the term, but it is a very rich oil. It's not super heavy, but it is quite a heavy product. So it would be quite messy and it does have a quite a green color to it. Um, so whether or not that would stain, I'm not quite sure. But for me, it works for just about a 45, anywhere for 40 minutes up to about an hour. I leave it sit every couple of weeks. You could do it every couple of days. Um, but for me, as I say, I have to shampoo my hair twice and then I use conditioner afterwards. But what I do note is that I get so much reduced frizz in my hair from this oil. Um, another great thing which I really like is it seems to uniform the hair. Um, when I say that, I get much more of a sleekness, much more of a shine with this. Now, there are, of course, other ingredients in here, but the predominant ingredient, I understand, is amla hair oil. Amla hair oil. Amla fruit extract in here. Um, so it is really, really great. Another thing which I quite like, which I have to mention on this channel, is um, a lot of my subscribers will know, we've talked about it now, of course I'm 31, um, and since I, I suppose about 25, 26, I'm starting to sort of notice that there are some hairs in the front of my hairline which are starting to lose the natural pigment. Um, in my family, people don't really go grey very, very early. My mum still has most of her hair colour, I think, uh, and she is in her, uh, she will be 61 in September. My father has got majority of his hair colour, and in October he will be 64. My twin brother has got a couple of in the front as well where he's lost the natural pigment, and my two older brothers, I believe, as well, they have. Um, okay, so having said that, what I love to do is when I put this in, if I leave it for about the hour mark, okay, it seems to darken down the pigment in my hair. So it doesn't colour, okay, but it seems to give my overall natural, okay, hair colour much more of a deeper hue to it. It's not really noticeable, but in the areas where I know those sort of colour, um, the colour is starting in a few, it's not loads, but there's a few across the fronts, and it doesn't bother me, but the Amla hair oil, is something I use, and for that added kind of benefit, it seems to darken it down, it seems to blend it away in my own hair colour. Strange, I don't know how it does that, but I really like it. Um, and you know what, it's really refreshing, it's got an incredible smell when I use it. I live in the family home, and everybody knows I'm using it. It's almost like it really freshens things up. So I'm a walking air freshener, so to speak. But it's really nice, it's really quite um, invigorating, awakening, and I can really see the benefits of the shine, the vitality, it kind of wakes hair up as to speak. Um, and I like that added sort of blend of colour, which it does, but yet it doesn't dye or anything like that at all. Now, just to get out in the open, a lot of people will probably ask me, okay, but do you colour your hair? Every couple of months, okay, I will use, I'm just trying to think of the name, it's L'Oreal for Men Experts. It's got a funny, quite awkward bottle, it's got like an orange brush on the top, and I use the blonde tone, okay, but it's so, so dark, I don't know why it's called blonde, and it's a seven, which is a light brown. And every couple of months, okay, it's not a regular thing, every now and again, if I want my, uh, the areas where I've lost, starting to lose the colour pigment on certain hairs across the front, and I want it to sometimes be a little bit more thicker, then I will just put that through just before a shower, leave it for five, ten minutes, wash it straight out, put some conditioner through, it's great. It's a product which works for me, and there is a review which I've done on my channel for that as well. And it works for me. Um, and you know, I'm not afraid to tell anybody that at all. I just like that actually it makes my hairline look a bit thicker as well. So great tip there if you're interested in that as well. But in terms of the Amla hair oil, let's tell you a little bit about it. So ingredients, do bear with me. Okay, so I believe it's pronounced Deboer. Uh, Amla hair oil, okay, com combines the, the goodness of amla fruit, and then in brackets it's got Indian gooseberry with a blend of vegetable and mineral oils to promote long, healthy hair. Regular application can assist in reduced split ends and minor hair loss. Deboer amla hair oil has been the secret of beautiful hair in India and around the world for over 50 years. How to use for best results, apply one to two teaspoons up to 10 ml of amla hair oil into the hair and leave for some time, ideally around an hour. Then it says here that they have a shampoo in this range and that you could you, you can use the shampoo. Um, and it says to rinse well, rinse thoroughly for best results, apply hair amla three times a week. For me, I'll be honest, that would be far too much. Um, as I say, I have to shampoo my hair twice after using this, but even then when I've done that, um, 
It doesn't leave a residue, but if I didn't do it for the two shampoos, there would be a residue in my hair. Um, but it's nice. It uniforms my hair. When I say that, if you've got fine hair, you'll know that you get lots of tiny hairs. It can often be quite frizzy. With the weather here in this part of the world, it can be very interchanging, temperatures up and down all the time. Um, so it just literally almost just goes... Whew, and it just sort of just bunches up and it can look really, really frizzy. This calms all that down and it just gives my hair some life and some character, I've noticed as well. So as I say, I use this every couple of weeks. I've had this bottle since, I've had this bottle since early May. That's what I've got left of it. So, and I am just lightly grabbing hold of it because the bottle, no, ma no matter how much I wipe it off, is a little greasy. But the smell, even in the box, it's quite, um. And it, it is an oil because you can see in the box, it sort of stained the box a little bit as well. Um, but it's got such a potent smell. But you know what? I quite like it. There's a lot of reviews online which don't like it. And I have to admit, they're quite negative about the smell. I don't think it's appalling. I don't think it's awful. It's certainly very unique. It's certainly very, very different. Um, and I know a lot of people talk about the other ingredients in here as well. And I can see in the ingredients that we've got mineral oil in here. There's a fragrance in here. There's amla fruit extract, of course, which we've discussed. And there's a few other things in here as well. To me, I've had a lot of benefit from this and I really like it. So for me, it's something I sort of suggest to people. This is what I use to look after my hair. Um, and yeah, I like it. It keeps my roots healthy. It looks after the kind of the color pigment loss in areas in the front of my hairline. I don't know about the back because I haven't looked at the back, um, but it's particularly at the sides I seem to have a couple where the hair pigment is seemingly dissing disappearing but I'm 31 so not a problem and I've still got plenty of hair for me so I am very very grateful but this is a great product and I really do like it I'm going to put it away well nearly dropped it all over the place because it is quite greasy but um and yeah you can put it's got an incredible smell really really has I'm still not sure what to make of the smell so I wouldn't touch the kind of the computer or anything on the camera in front of me at the moment but it's really really great if you do have any questions at all please leave them down below for me as I say it's got everything on the front here it's got a very uh very pretty lady with loads of hair on the front <laughs> so a really great product and um yeah, and do you know what? I can buy this for a couple of pounds in my high street from a store called Superdrug, um, which a lot of people, of course, will know in the UK. Uh, and on Amazon, it's literally, I didn't even pay five pounds, and this is 200 mils. And this has lasted me. As you can see, I don't use it very often at all. Every couple of weeks, and when I say that, sometimes two, three weeks, maybe go longer in between. Um, and we are on the 21st of August now. So there we go. So I've had it. I've had it. Quite a while, you could say, I think, for that. And for 200 mils, I've still got about, what, just under a third of the bottle left, which I use. And all I quite simply do is put it through my hair and just with a simple tie, tie my hair back, leave it. If I'm not going out anywhere, I'll leave it for a little bit longer than an hour, perhaps, but never usually longer than that at all, because it is a heavy product. So a whole host of potential benefits in there. So what does Amla Fruit uh, Oil do, extract do? I think I got that right there when we said that, didn't we? Indian girl spray, okay, goodness of amla fruit oil. So when I've had a look up on it, it revitalizes, it supports a healthy function of the hair follicle. It's also got, I believe, rich in vitamin E, which looks after the shine and the vitality of the hair. It conditions the hair. It boosts the hydration in the hair as well. You'll notice it does give a real sheen to the hair as well when you do, when you shampoo the product out, when you use your conditioner as well. Um, explore with it because it really is a great product. So I take, I take some time to massage my hairline with this it's a great oil for scalp massage as well it's got a really nice smell of course it's very invigorating very uplifting a lot of people don't like it but a lot of people love it as well for me i really don't mind it. it's not a problem and as i say if you've got longer hair particularly if you've got colored hair i would be careful if you've got highlighted hair bleached hair light sort of spectrum of hair colors be really really careful but if you've got sort of deep reds black brunettes those type of colors um then that would be amazing because it just adds gloss to the hair I find as well. And it just gives you that vitality. For me, I've got fine hair. So my hair kind of lacks uh, sort of character. Um, if I don't put it in a style like this, it can quickly fall out of the style. So it's either just there and hanging or with this, when I use it, okay, every couple of weeks, I can certainly notice for a good time afterwards that it does give that injection of energy, that boost and that vitality. Um, whereas, for example, if I want that, I've got to do quite a lot of styling, um, use a bunch of different products. Whereas with this, um, it seems to really give that naturally, which I really, 
get my teeth back in, which I really like. I say that actually, I've got a new retainer, which sometimes is getting me a bit tongue tied. I haven't got it in at the moment, um, but I am at nights. But that's another story for my subscribers, of course. Um, I am using other products with Amla uh, extract in as well, and that is the Aveda Invate Scalp Revitalizing Treatment, which I absolutely love. And they actually say that in this scalp revitalizing treatment, which you don't need to wash out at all, I've got another a review of that on my channel. Um, which we've done recently as well, and that boosts the thickness in the root area as well. So a whole host of benefits for Amla uh, hair oil to, uh, to potentially be had. So on that note, here it is. I really love the product. I've been wanting to review it for a little while, but I was just wondering if people would be interested or not interested, but I really, really like it. Um, I hope you found it really interesting too. So on that note, if you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below. Um, and yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, just rub that in my other hand now, so they're both greasy. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.